Hey guys, I wanted to show you my vacuum chamber setup. I've got this here Robin Air uh, HVAC pump. It vacuums down the uh, HVAC systems before you can charge them and stuff. Um, that's what I'm going to use to pull the vacuum. Um, this is a cookie jar that I got from, I want to say, Walmart. Um, it was like 10 or 15 dollars or something like that. And then I've got this. this is a piece of uh, like sand, plexiglass, acrylic sheeting, whatever you want to call it. And it's probably three eighths of an inch thick up to a uh, I don't think it's a half, so yeah, it's more than a quarter, but less than a half, so three eighths of an inch. Then uh, I've got my middle hose here, as you can see, comes over to my HVAC gauges here. And the reason I use them is because right there it has vacuum up to 30 microns or whatever it is they use on the HVAC. I know what it is, I just can't think of it right now. Um, it used to have a marking on there, but I don't know. Anyway, I hooked that to there, then I hook the high side yellow to there, which you know is supposed to be you know, the low side. This is the high side. This is supposed to be red, this is supposed to be blue, and this is supposed to be yellow. But um, these are old gauges. You can see the hoses all cracked up. If I were using them for HVAC again, I would have to uh, buy new hoses. Anyway, I take this acrylic sheet, I drilled a hole in it, and I tapped it, and I put... Uh, a fitting in here and it screwed right down in there and I think I got some Teflon tape on it I don't know if you can see that through the glass uh, I tried using this to vacuum down some mold wood that's why that ring is on there um, I used some neoprene it didn't work out too well I got this piece of uh, rubber off of eBay I forget what they call it it's like a foam rubber and you can see the ring around it where I've been using it so all I do is I put what I want to vacuum down in there and then put this on top of it, turn on the pump, press down, as you can see, it's backing it down. Make sure I got my gauge as clean as well. It'll go all the way down to 30, which is pretty much perfect vacuum for this thing. Make sure my hoses are all tight. get it down low enough I'll just turn it off close that valve turn the pump off now these gauges might not be right either but you see it's leaking down so that means we got a leak somewhere in the system might be a hole in the hose but what I'm going to use it for today um, doesn't have to be perfect what I want to do is I'm making some molds for uh, some rings and stuff this is where I'm melting my wax and I've got this one already made, this one already made, and that one in there already made. And I'm going to make up, mix up some investment and I'm going to put these in there one at a time after I fill them up. Actually, I'm going to put the investment in there first, to suck all the air out of it, pour it in there, then put these in there to vacuum them down. Now, this doesn't work the same way as a pressure pot. A pressure pot will uh, pressurize um, the material and make the bubbles super tiny small um, what's not released you can't see which would be ideal but I don't have a pressure pot they're like a hundred dollars at Harbor Freight maybe one day when they got the 25 percent off coupon I'll go get one but in the meantime what I do is I put it in here and what happens is it bubbles up and I open it up and let it go down bubbles up and let it go down like that and uh, it breaks all the bubbles brings them to the top and breaks them all and then um, you kind of have to work quick because it takes it takes about 15 minutes for the stuff to set up so you got to mix it vacuum it pour it and vacuum it and then let it sit to get all the air bubbles out and 
hard nut. So let me get started mixing this investment and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we got our investment in the vacuum chamber. So we're going to take and we're going to put our seal on there. We have to line our vacuum hose up with the seal. It's not glued on there or anything. I probably should glue it on there. Alright, when we get it where we want it, make sure our valve is open. Turn it on and I'll show you through the glass what it looks like. see through there too well. It's getting down there. It takes a second for it to pull the vacuum enough for it to, to bubble much. It bubbles a lot with silicone and resin. I don't know how much it'll bubble with this. I don't know if you can see that it's sucking down the seal. So it's in a vacuum. Looks like it is rising up a little bit. Starting to foam up at the top. You supposed to vacuum this for about three minutes. Yeah, it's starting to rise now. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry it's dirty. I should have cleaned it before I started. That. Break the seal here. That yeah, falls. Seal it back. And this is why I like a pressure pot better because all that bubbling to me just causes foam. You have to keep breaking the seal to keep it from bubbling over. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, falling back down now. That means it's just about done. <clears throat> Now that it's falling back down, we'll turn the pump off and we'll break the seal and we'll remove it and pour it in the molds. See that went up a good inch, inch and a half there. stuff that bubbled up out of there. Alright. We're gonna pour this in the molds over here. And then we're gonna vacuum the molds. <sighs> what you want to do when you pour this is you want to pour it from up high to make a small stream. See if I can get a small there you go. See a small stream? That way it'll help break any air bubbles that come out. You can also get a lot of bubbles out by tapping it. You have to be careful with like with these wax molds because they will break loose. I'm not trying to pour this super slow, but I'm trying to keep the stream thin to help keep the bubbles down because if you take too long this stuff will harden up on you. You're not supposed to pour it over the mold, but I'm going to pour it over the mold. <laughs> Alright, the reason I have the tape on the mold is so when I put it in the vacuum chamber, it doesn't bubble over. see that all 
And I got one more over here. I had to use two. It's a Buddha. And I probably don't have enough here, so I'm going to pour this in there and mix up some more. Sorry about that. Right, I'm going to mix up some more. I'm going to put these two in the vacuum chamber so they can start vacuuming down. Alright, I got these things vacuuming down. They're not bubbling up much, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I think pre-vacuuming the mixture did a lot of good. I did not vacuum down the other mixture, so we're going to need to vacuum it in the mold. Take these out. Yeah, I got a mess on my table. I need to clean it up. What happens when you got 10,000 things going? Yeah, see? No air bubbles. Now, this is probably going to have some air bubbles because I didn't pre-vacuum this batch. And the bottom of this thing is not even, so... Yeah. It's, uh... Plus, I think my seal is dirty there. It's okay. It's okay. Got the wonder all that at the top, but you can't see in it. So, we're going to let that vacuum down. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Let me let this vacuum down and I'll show you what I'm done. Alright, I got the uh, vacuum chamber open and I vacuumed this down. You can see it's already starting to set up on the sides. Um, I'm going to let this set for an hour or so and then I'll demold it. When I want to demold it, I'll pull the bottoms off of it and it'll be ready for the, for the furnace. What I do is I stick it in a toaster oven for five or six hours and let it burn out the wax. Then uh, when I'm ready to pour, I go melt the metal I'm going to pour into it. And in this case, it's going to be silver. And I'll take it out there and uh, when the metal is melted, I'll take it out the oven, go over there and pour it in. Um, this stuff on top ain't going to hurt nothing. It's just a little dirt. I don't know where it come from. Maybe it come from what's inside here. I need to clean it out. I'll probably clean it out here in a minute. But anyway, that's how I use my vacuum chamber for making rings and stuff. Um, this uh, footage probably won't be used in the video that I'm making the rings on but um, yeah that's what I that's how I do it that's what I use and in this case I need to clean my pump and put some fresh oil in it but um, I want to thank you guys for watching